Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to add your own voice to Pictory. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, also, stick around to the end because there's also going to be a dad joke. Let's go check it out. Now, if you watched yesterday's video, you will have seen that I actually had a ebook that I created from a video. Now, what I did was I got this transcribed using otter.ai and I'll leave a link for that down in the description down below. But what I've actually done here in this particular case is from that video, I've broken it up into these little tiny paragraphs. Now what I'm going to do is there is a point where I have finished and I'm not going to go all the way through because this would be a very, very long video if I decided to use all of that text. So what I'm going to do is instead I'm just going to grab the text from here and work my way all the way to the top so as and grab all of this text information here and we're going to be putting this straight into Pictory because you know we don't really want to be having to do all this in one fell swoop let's go copy that now what we need to do is go over here to the script of video go start just place that straight in there and then we'll just wait for that to paste in Okay, so we take that to the very top, and as you can see, I have broken it up into its own little paragraphs. The reason I've done that is so as it breaks it up very nicely, and it knows exactly where to place the full stops and so forth. And it'll know where to put the frames. So let's just proceed from here, and I'm going to pause the video until it's finished doing what it needs to do. But before I do, we just have to choose the landscape, which is 16 by 9 is this one here and we just have to wait now for it to finish its job all right now you may be asking yourself okay so what's Pictory well Pictory is very literally a video maker you paste text into it and then it creates a video for you pretty much as simple as that okay now here we are in the storyboard section at Pictory and over here on the right hand side you can see where it says upload voiceover or you can have record your voiceover. Now if you have it already set up so as you have it in a way that is like how I have and I've, I've set it up in a way that allows me to know exactly what I'm going to be reading and how I'm going to be reading it out. Now you can have this where you can read it out as you're looking at it on the screen. And as you can see that's as far as I've gone with this particular one it might go down a bit further. There we are. So you can read it down, you can read it and just go through frame by frame as you go. Now there are two things you can do here. One, I would take this all the way back up to the top and if you're wanting to read it from the actual frame, which I don't highly recommend, because the reason I don't recommend it primarily is because over here, you have to be constantly stopping and starting, stopping and starting. I mean, you could, reread it from one frame to another to another to another but it's not an easy process what you're far better off doing is going over and grabbing a thing called audacity and using audacity to record your voiceover now that's why I have broken up the article in such a way that it was easier to read so hello and welcome back in chapter 2 we're going to be talking about planning your affiliate program. What are the things that you must, what are the things that you need? Yeah, so when you stumble and stutter and stuff like that, it's much easier to fix it up here. And to do that, all you really need to do is to click generate. And then you can literally click that. And you can generate what you're saying using your article so let's just start here I'm just going to be doing a couple of little lines hello and welcome back in chapter 2 we're going to be talking about planning your affiliate program 
What are the things that you must need? And what are the things that are and what are the things that are optional that you can add later down the road? Because the goal here is to create your found the gut because because the goal here is to create that foundation but get everything up and running as quickly as possible as you can see i'm not a great reader when it comes to reading out aloud reading out aloud is not my forte but you can play press play and you can see how it goes from here let's just press play and you can generate what you're saying using your Article. So let's just start here. I'm just going to be doing a couple of little lines. Hello and welcome back. See what you do in this particular case is you just press play again, start it up from where it was, and, you can and then you just cut it from where you want it. Using your article. So let's just start here. I'm just going to be doing a couple of little lines. Hello and welcome back. In chapter two, we're going to be talking about. Let's just stop this and press play. And you can generate and you can now what we're going to do in this particular case is all we have to do is hit delete and it then takes that part away and as you can see it now has the part that you want to keep you just press play hello and welcome back and you hello, can hello and welcome back stop it there if you wish to and because you've got a bit of a pause that pause is good primarily because you see how it's got a pause between here and here the reason that's good is primarily because you want to be able to use the pause to go in between the frames. So when it goes through from one frame to another, say from this frame to the next frame, which will be this one here, you can then have it read it from one, it'll have a little bit of a pause as it transitions from one screen to another. And then as it goes through, you can have it transition from one screen to another every time you read that section out. So that is how you would do it using it using Audacity or another program very similar to that. Another thing you can do is use your voiceover. Let's start from the beginning up here. And you can now go to the voiceover and go record voiceover. Now when you do that, you click here. As you can see, you've got this section down here. It would be nice if they had one more little button here. But it doesn't have it. So right now what we have is the ability to record and then cancel but it doesn't give you the option to go to the next frame which is a little bit of a downfall let's have a quick look at this hello and welcome back so as you can see I had to stop it and then I have to, I can apply it or I can play it back hello and welcome back Okay. Hello and welcome back. All right. So as you can see, I can just constantly play it. But if I want to re-record over the top of it because I made a mistake, I kind of can't. I have to apply what I've done or save it. I can now apply it, and then we can go to the next frame, and then we can now re-record this one, and we can hit. In chapter two, we're going to talk about planning your affiliate program. What are the things that you might need? And you can press play just to hear what it says or hear what it sounds. In sound. chapter two, we're going to talk about planning your affiliate program. What are the things that you might need? That sounds like crap, but unfortunately, it doesn't give you the option to re-record it. It would be nice if it did. So in this particular case, you have to cancel and then redo the voiceover. In chapter two, we're going to be talking about planning your affiliate program. What are the things that you must need? And then you can hit apply and save. Let's hit, let's hit play to see in what that's like. Why isn't that playing? Stop playing for some reason. I'm not sure why. 
Okay, so all you need to do is just go from frame to frame, but as you can see, it's not as easy doing it this way. Personally, if I was going to be doing this, I would much prefer to generate it using Audacity then removing the sections I don't want to keep, keeping the things I do want to keep, and then just continuing to play through until such times as I have my entire thing created. And once I've got it completely cre created, all I need to do is go back over here and hit the upload voiceover. And from here, all I need to do is I can either drag it across or I can grab it from here and then grab it from wherever I saved it and place it straight into this section. It really is as simple as that. So to do this, I, I have to say, personally, my preference would be to upload my own voice using Audacity. Now, Audacity, if you don't know, Audacity is free. Now, if you want to have a look at Pictory and its prices, let's go and have a look at that. All right, now let's have a look at the pricing. Now, you can get three videos for free, but you will probably have a watermark on this. And it probably be very good, low quality videos. But you can get your first three videos for free. And you probably won't have too many options on that. So you have ten you'll be up to ten minutes of video. You can do Pictory branding, unfortunately it will have branding. You'll have just a free trial. Video transcription hours only two hours of that. You can do sixty minutes maximum video length. That's of course, you have more than one video, one gigabyte of storage, etc. As you go through, you can have a look at what they have to offer. Now, if you're looking at doing a monthly program, my suggestion would be if you can afford it, try your $39 a month because that will give you much, much more than what you would if you were doing it any other way. You don't want to be doing the $59 a month per month, month to month. This is if it's done monthly. This one is if it is done yearly. Now you can go through and you can have a look here. If you're going to be doing it monthly, you can do up to 20 minutes of videos, which is where I'm at. I'm actually on the premium one. You can do up to 20 minutes of videos and you don't have to worry about branding because you're not branded. And as you go through, you can see I've got five gigabytes of storage, which is much more than what the tip one gigabyte is. And you can go through and you can have a look at interrupt this for one second and point a couple of things out if you have a look over here you'll notice that it says upload your own music track which means you can't do it if you're on the standard version and you can't trim video clips and that's really important for you to want to do you want to be able to trim your own video clips and also over here you want to look over here it says upload voiceover and auto sync entire video now you can't really do that on the standard version so just make you aware of that. If you're going to be doing this, you're better off going the premium, which will allow you to upload your own voiceovers. Otherwise, you'll have to do it from the system. What it offers you, 15,000 premium mu music tracks, etc. And as you go through, you can see it offers a lot more. Dedicated account manager, which we don't get on this one, but you do on the enterprise one. Now my suggestion would be stick with this one to start off with, not this one, this one here, stick with this one to start off with because this is definitely the most affordable of the lot. Okay guys, it's now joke time. A young man who's trying to choose a subject for a university course says to his father, should I take up economics dad? The father says, sure, why not? It won't make us rich, but at least you'll know why we're poor. <laughs> Alright guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video. Okay, over here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video that YouTube thinks you might like. And over here is an icon that you can press if you want to subscribe. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and bye for now.